Well, it's funny because that's Jew, and, uh, they write Jew and Jewess, right? Uh, for a female, is the term historically used to denote a person considered to be to be of Black African heritage? And that's weird because Africans don't want to be called Negroes. And the the, the masters want to be called Black but they don't want to be called Negro. So that's a false statement. So we're going to just go down here. And here's the word Negrito. Surprisingly, it's right there, right? Feminine Negrita. Term used in the Philippines to refer to the various darker-skinned native ethnic groups that partially, see this right here, intermixed, partially descend from early Austro Australo Melanesian migrations. These groups include the Ete, the Adi, the Manwana, the Bat Batak, among others despite, despite physical appearances. They all speak Austronesian languages. This is how they're trying to say you have no connection to them. Because they speak a different language group and are genetically considered uh, genetically related to other Austronesian Filipinos. So that would tell you what uh, presumably what they're partially descended from. Now again, from the word Negrito, clearly it's under the title Negro. There is a relationship. That means that there is a forefather to us and to the Negrito groups. And of course, what does this book say? If they go into the Canaanite, if the Israelites go unto the Moabites, if they go on to the Ammonites, they are then taken out of the congregation. So if there becomes a question in the mind, why aren't these Negroes going through the same condition as these Negroes in America? So that's just an assumption from a dumbass that sits in a basement and makes videos. Based on a book that revolves around what we study. The Island of the Negroes. That would be, see, again, Negro to them is derogatory, but they have an island called Negroes, which that, that doesn't make any sense. And that, that seems like that's one of the Negroes, right? That's what it says, Negroes. That's what they call us. The predominant inhabitants of the island region are mainly Negrenesses. What the? I mean, we, what have they labeled us now? I mean, we went from from Shemites, from Afro Asians to to Negro, Negrito, Negresses, Nigresses. That sounds like a cigarette, doesn't it? <laughs> like, what's going on, man? So, the island of Negroes is named after them, not not us, right? But but we're Negroes, and, and, and get out of here. This is who who named this shit? The term Negrito is entered, has entered scientific usage in the English language 
based on the original Spanish Filipino usage to refer to similar populations in South and Southeast Asia. The ne Negroes are spread all over and they just can't get them out. Now listen to this, this is funny. However, the appropriateness of, use, of using the word to bundle people of similar physical appearance, this is Negro and Negritos, to bundle them all together, right, has been questioned as genetic evidence shows they have not had close shared ancestry. What does that mean? That means last in, last out. Oh, you're not doing that, are you? Yeah, they're doing that. They were last in bed with these people. They last mated with these people. So we're going to say, even though they don't look anywhere near what we would call a Melanesian or what we would call an Austronesian. See, if I, if I type in Austro, Australian, right, however they pronounce that. Right? Or a Melanesian. That's what we should do. Because this is what they say and they are. Don't group them with Negroes. You should group them with the Melanesians and the Austra Australios first. So, the people that is called Negrito should be considered Austronesian. Austro. Nishian first, right? Are the large groups of people living in Taiwan, living in maritime Southeast Asia, mainland Southeast Asia? So if we looked at these people groups, they're saying that these people that are classified even under Negro, but should not be considered Negro. How in the f do you make that make sense? You should classify these people under Negroes, but, but not as Negroes, because biologically their, their closer relatives is the Austronesian and the Melanesian. You see what they're doing? They're playing the matriarch game. We are slaves in a system that are playing a, we're a government, they're pretending to be a government, but they're acting like a tribe. And they're arguing that you are adopted in to their tribe so that you can work and be taxed. The spirit of Egypt. Let me see what's going on. See, what they fail to say is the forefather of the Negro and the forefather of the Negrito, and that's why they're labeled on the same page. But the idea of isolating you to a smaller group, saying that you belong to Africa, right? Because this is the game. If you know the Negrito is your cousin, why is your cousin living in Asia when they keep on pumping you all this Africa shit? Now we got ourselves a real dance. Now, this becomes the question. How related are we? Because again, if we look at last people that dated and mated, and then okay, well, they mated with some Asiatic groups, and that makes sense that they stayed there. We went on dates in their land, and we mated, and we just became one big family. But when you add this Bible into it and then start playing this, well, who's the forefather of everybody? And you're going to find the Austronesian have a forefather. 
that is not the Negrito's forefather. You're going to find that the Negrito got the same forefather as the Negro. And then the placement that they're in and, and the Canaanites got up off the land of Canaan and they went up into the promised land. The land promised to the uh, uh, to, to Abraham. And they war with the Israelites while the Israelites were sinning. And then the Israelites got taken to the land of promise if you fail to live up to the contract. It's two promised lands. But there's only one land of Canaan. There's nothing over there that they named Canaan. And everything over here that they name Canaan. And it doesn't matter about the modern name. What matters is, is what were the Indians calling it? The rivers meet here, St. Lawrence, they call it Canaan. The rivers of this, they call it Canaan. The town of this, they called it Canaan. Why so many places named Canaan? West Virginia, Canaan Mountains. Why so many places named Canaan? I'm going to say my opinion about the border situation, about the immigrants being busted. I'm going to bust, 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 bust in, uh, burst in. So again, if this is the land of Canaan and this is their land, doesn't all this make sense? Well, we're going to give you three thousand a month so you can live uh, very comfortably because we took your land. And we built all this stuff on it. And we don't want you to make us leave. Because it is your land. But our average citizen won't understand that because we've been brainwashing them over and over again for centuries. That America. So, yeah, man. What happens when all these Negroes get the chance to go home in, 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 in it's Asia. What is it going to look like? We just read the scripture. We're going to go into captivity again. And we know the results of it. And whatever the results is because the most high said the results are going to be like that. Not because we're going to make some plan and some shit's going to be done. It's not that way. It's the hand of the most high. That hammer is swinging because I bumped it before. Not because any other reason. So. Think about what they're doing here. I got a text from, from Meech. Meech was like, hey, look, man, they're calling this the oarfish, not a dragon. And I thought he was mocking me. I called him up and I was like, hey, man. He's like, hey, man, you're not going to believe this. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. And he wasn't mocking me. He was, he was, he was like, you know, I'm stupid. When you go to type in oarfish, it leads to Google. They tell you the picture is taken in San Francisco. The picture of the oarfish is taken in San Francisco, supposed to be a what, a base? But they got Asian writing everywhere. So that's that's what's at the base in San Francisco? Asian writing all over the walls and on the, on the gym floor, on the deck? Now, was it a Filipino ship? Uh, in, in the San Francisco Bay, I can understand that. But once we look up the oarfish, and then it tell you, it is speculated that, uh, that through myth that it's the ancient sea serpent. Why are you calling it a fish? Since it's so long, you need thirty or so men to to, to even 
Hold it up. I, I said I said to Meech, I was like, hey man, you know, what do you need to catch a fish? I mean, a fishing pole. You're not gonna catch no or fish, a sea serpent, with no fishing pole. And then when you read, anybody can go look up the or fish themselves. It's a regus, regulus, something else. What does regal mean? It means king. Are you saying that sea serpent is the kingfish, but you called it an or fish, so nobody modernly will call it a dragon? That's the type of people that rule over you. The magical shit that's actually in our world, they gonna write it off as something else. Yet, what Meat showed me was 14 years ago, there's a YouTube video that says Meat Kong Dragon, and that's what they show. So if we go to Wikipedia, and you know, Wikipedia is just going to tell you what they want you to believe. And they can say it with taken anywhere. Only the men on that ship standing on those Asian words on the deck. <laughs> Know where that shit was taken. And what did the Most High say in the book? It say, "I'm a, as a curse, I'm gonna kick your dragon out the river." So you should be able to find the four fish anywhere, because it's not specifically in the river as a home anymore. Now those other crocodile or other fixtures are fake we don't give a shit that that or fish ain't fake those 30 or so men holding that thing ain't fake it's just the name they slapped on it so the idea that they're going to tell you in their information These people that are classified in Negrito are not related to the Negro, but you find them on the Negro page. That don't make no sense. <clears throat> regal, the Regal family, right here, the King family, the Kingfish. All right, you get like how silly this shit is. These people named it so you won't call it a dragon. Here we go. Oarfish, elongated, right? Large, greatly elongated, regal family, right? Ah, all right, so. Thought and reference. Uh, give me a second. Let me see where all this is. Latin, regalis, meaning royal. It's the royal. You still want to call it a fish? I think you're insane. Right there, they want to show you the answer. It's, a, it's just washed up on the shore near San Diego. Again, uh, a, there's a video on YouTube, to, uh, Mekong Dragon. So, anatomy. Uh, let me go down. All right, as part of the Serpent Pro oh, it's a Project, uh, that's not what we're looking for. Behavior. All right, um, this is one of them. Unusual numbers of the slender oar fish, uh, known in Japanese folk folklore as messenger from the sea god's palace. I didn't even got some info on that. Messenger from the Sea God's Palace appears in the waters 
and on the beaches of Japan, and the appearance of which is said, so when this happens, it is said to be port, port end earthquakes. Okay, so earthquakes happen over that, uh, when, when you start to see them. So here it says uh, the river monster is named the deep sea demon. No, no, it's just a fish. Right? And, and then me and Meech were laughing about this shit because once you start reading this, you know it's not a fish. It's a sea demon, which in the past they called them sea serpents. So, look, it's a giant. Oh no, it's the, the whore fish parasites. So they're studying the parasites that they go. So they're trying to say the only thing that can feed on these things are the shark, a certain kind, the mako shark, swordfin, mako shark, and sperm whale. So and they can tell this by the parasites that are left uh, from from them. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure what words will come up in the end. Doing this wrong? Yeah. Okay, so, uh, as, uh, I was recording, uh, the screen went black and, uh, somehow wiped out, uh, all the windows. And, then it says refresh, and when I hit the refresh button, nothing happened. Now, none of my windows are recorded anymore. Just all individual tabs right in the middle of the video. So I, I had to pause it because I was going to start yelling. Uh, I'm going to waste any fucking mm, good old fashioned anger on any of this. Ah, mm, uh, it's easy to think like I made a mistake, but I don't understand what kind of mistake I could make to have gotten this to happen. So. Gonna go forward. I know where we were. We were looking at the Negrito. We were discussing the Austronesian people under Negro, and then we we're going to move on to Negrito. So, we we'll might just make this a long one just to so get all, just make sure we get everything on this page so they try this tomorrow. I'm going to make sure I don't cry tonight. Okay, so let's take Negrito and let us open that up, and I'll show you how different that page actually is. And no, note, note again, this is from the page Negro. Okay, and now let's see what they're saying. Uh, Let's skip this for now, and let's go to Austronesian, and we're going to see the people's DNA, and then they're going to say, genetic study show the Austronesian founders of Madagascar were definitely, I mean, were mostly, were most closely related to present day groups living in Central and Eastern Indonesia. Um, what does that mean? Why don't you just tell me what their DNA is? Like, you can type in anybody else and tell me what their DNA is, right? So now you have to ask specifically, what is the Y haplogroup of the Austronesian people? And so the Y chromosome is then O3A, okay? And you can see the rest. Uh, they'll come right out and tell us. Good, good. Now we, we, now we know that. 
And so again, then we, we're looking at the images of the population. All right. And so again, there is what they're telling us, admixture. Now, then that goes to say, whose DNA are they giving us? Are they giving us, because they, you know, so just keep that in mind. That can be further examined. You can't guarantee that O is the DNA of these people with these afros and not the DNA of these people over here, which are clearly, uh, I want to say Asiatic, but it's clearly this is this is, this is uh, Canaan and this is Shem, you know. Um, So, uh, let's just open that whole thing up. And, and, yeah, I don't know why I opened it. Makes me want to look at the picture. Because th there's, there's clearly a, a mix of races there, right? And then you have Melanesian, right? Now, Melanesians, again, they're not. I'm going to argue Melanesians are uh, close to Negro. In fact, they're going to argue that uh, they're part of the Austronesian language, so they're not. Remember, uh, you're the one that's suffering from the curses of Deuteronomy. You're the one that's been enslaved and then allegedly freed on the land where you've been captive. You are still in captiv captivity. The idea of your homeland is the same land where your slave, where your captors, the people that captured you and made money from selling you off. That, that's, that's where they teach you your homeland is. No idea where they where they took you from. Only thing that connects you to Asia is this Bible, Afro Asiatic language of Hebrew, and the people still living there. These people's being shown that they say the Negro has no connection to. These people are indigenous. They are the Indians of these territories. The idea that the Negro is also indigenous to America, that they're not migrant busing you in. They don't have barbed wire fence at the gates to keep you out. When we experience what they're experiencing, that'll be us entering into our homeland. So the Melanesian people, predominant, many of them, and indigenous. So, we've seen these people before. Yes, we have a lot in common with these people genetically. How much? We don't know because we are not the scientists. They are the scientists. They are the police. They are the governor. You don't see what's going on. You don't hold any of these positions. So, 
Yet some of these people look like you, but they don't have what? Like Lawrence Fishburne, no? <laughs> got the Lawrence Fishburne team. <laughs> I don't know. He, his hair is, is a little bit different, right? His hair is way different, right? A children's hair like this, no? So these are the Melanesians, okay? Melanated, Melanesian. See, see where, where, this is where we are Indians. Not, not just, now, now, again, they tell you some of these people are indigenous to this place. Indigenous and, excuse me, they are indigenous and predominant. Now, again, when we get to the Negrito, you'll, it'll, it'll make sense. Well, hopefully it will make sense. And then we say, hey, well, these Melanesians, what's their DNA? And they're like, oh, the Melanesians carry additional 300, almost 400,000 base pairs of DNA that appear to have originated in the Denisovians. Isn't that interesting? But what does that mean? Well, I, I, I hate to speculate, you know, because I'd hate to say some shit and I don't have to, you know, apologize in a video later because we know what the Denisovians, like, are, you know, but we don't know what they are, right? Like, you, I mean, they're compared to the Neanderthal, right? First, I thought that shit said Hobbit. I was like, wait, wait. So, it, it, it really depends on who you're asking, right? About who these people, like, what are they? Are they a Neanderthal? Are they comparable to a Neanderthal? Are they equal to a Neanderthal? Did they have the same start? That's what I mean. Uh, again, throw, throw the Neanderthal in there. Um, Cro-Magnum, you know, all these things, right? Look at the Basque people. I, I, again, I, I'm, I could be wrong that the Basque are part of the Hittites, but I'm not wrong that the DNA of the Basque connects to, uh, I forgot that species, another, another one of these uh, species, uh, ancient species. Again, they're not categorized as man or modern man. They have interbred with modern man. So if you sit there and say, well, the Negrito is classified as as being partially descended from these races and the Israelites, while they were at the temple, had, uh, uh, had these rules before the again i ain't trying to make it sound good i'm, I'm trying to just show you what, what what i think it is in relative to myself the most high comes back and say you mix with these races you're not part of us then that's what the most high said the most high come back and say this is my scripture being fulfilled through your captivity and then the program was in me to to do that just like it was in many of you 
there are plenty of people, and we got to have this conversation too. There's plenty of people that are going to argue, you know, stay within your races. But again, you playing a color game, a crayon box game, where the same people you 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 were not supposed to mix with have captured you and mix with you. Here, I wrote this down. They plan their plan of Psalms 83. They it backfired the moment that they went through us. Okay. The, listen, to make this clear. If you read Psalms 83, you will understand it too. This ain't hard. They took the men one way. The ones that wasn't destroyed. They took them one way. They took the young men and boys another way. And those groups would never be seen again. They took the women one way and they took the young girls another way. Just like they did to everybody else, they intermixed with them. Those men, once they was in the new land doing whatever, they didn't have nobody else to keep the seed line going. Those women, when they was taken to other lands and there wasn't no more Israelite men or women, there wasn't no Judean men or women around them, they had no choice but to continue their bloodline. When those children grew up, blah, 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 in different areas, and then again, I didn't set it this way. This is the way it was set. You argue all you want. Listen, David is ruddy, and the rest of them talking like they was yellow orangish. David took Bathsheba, a, a Hamite. And then had Solomon, and then Solomon saying, my skin's black. So if I go and I get a Hindu wife, and I have children, especially if she got darker skin, don't you, I, I realized my dad was like five, seven, five, eight. My mom seemed to be a little bit like equivalent size or a little bit taller. So me and my brother came out tall. You take on the, the the structure and some characteristics of your mom. You take your dad's face. If your mom's short, you're going to be short. Very odd to have a tall dad and then the son tall too. It's usually the mom. But I understand shit work different ways. I, I, I'm, I'm just... I'm just saying from my own example. My brother is like six, six three, and I, he's close to six three. Yeah, I, and I'm close to six one uh, when I have shoes on, because those shoes give you that almost to each, right? So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I, uh, that's that's the most I can I can tell you. you again, you 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 know all these stories. Of 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 Caucasian men having uh, mating with with black women and the child come out dark. The child is classified as Negro, unless somebody knows the history of the family, they don't they can't tell him the difference than anybody else. The difference is is when the father is dark and the mom's light, then you get the lighter children because they don't carry over the melanation of the mom. <clears throat> but again, it's all it's all a pain experiment, right? <laughs> Throw down some colors, right? So I would imagine these groups are still in the land because they mixed. Now, once these groups Now think about the law of the congregation 
even under confu uh, confusion of faces. When we go to Lamentations and hear what they did to us, we're not hearing we openly chose mate with them. They, we, we, they thrust themselves upon us, which puts their bloodline in the next lineage of our race. Now, I ask you, does that not fulfill, I will mix you with the nations? Now, you sit here and you're like, hey, I want my significant color to look this way, but my significant other to look this way or that way. That's cool. Just do it for the right reason. Because it's, it's, it's a good woman. Or it's a good man. No, don't get stuck with, with children you don't want because you rushed into things. Or you're unwilling to work to get together. You know, make a child out of love. And that child will love you. Because it's reciprocation. So... When you sit there and say, I'm going to have a wife just because she got dark skin, how do you know that you're not mixing with those other races? The same reasons why these people aren't in captivity with us, these groups. Now, if they were so worried, this, this, this is exactly what I mean. This is how they messed up. If they were so worried, uh, or they were so confident that we went through, we added our DNA to you, then why still keep us captive? Right? To them, we're supposed to be ruined then, right? See, this is what the guy with no, with, with no face came in and said, right? Edom went through all y'all anyway, y'all. Edomites. This is, this is common. These are blank comments. These people want to leave. This is why I say show your face. So, but again, that comment can be found in the Bible. Not only about Edom. Does that not fulfill? I will show. Ephraim with Judah, and I will sow that with the nations, and then I will sow that with the beast. It doesn't say it's going to be a good outcome. It doesn't say it's going to be a bad outcome. It just says, I will do that. And that would happen here in America. Let me think about it. Now, this leads us on down the line when we get to the the Y chromosome. Because, again, you know, they want to tell us about all that. So we ask about the Y, and they're like, hey, this is the Melanesian and Asian origins of the Polynesians. So then it becomes a group tackle. And then, you know, I don't know if I wanted to get into that because I, I had a lot to present. But then, ah, so then that makes the question. What is the Negrito haplogroup? group? Right, so, and then, pardon me, Y chromosome landscape of the Philippines. Philippines, excuse me. No, 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 we're not asking about the whole. So, oops. Now we should uh, right here. We should actually do the Negrito, but we're gonna. Skip this for a minute, because when we open this, uh, yeah, we, I mean, when we go to this one, we're gonna have to open up a lot of other stuff. Uh, so what I would like to do is go over here to Terminator cast, uh, cast then and now, right? Terminator one and two, and uh, there's something interesting that comes up, and it's right here with this person. Uh, all right, so. Here we have this guy. All right, this is 
uh, I think it's Mark Christopher Lawrence, and I want you to pay attention to, like, his hair. And because this is what I mean, the idea of you have black people that were from Europe. They came over and their intentions were to seize control of the land. And they mixed with the Indian one generation. And now, this day forward, their descendants are who holds this fence over us. Now, let me show you. This is the only place that you can see this man's hair texture. Now, oh. Uh, if you know when he was younger, or, or I mean, when he, yeah, during, when this movie was made, you know, you're telling me, he's, you know, he, this is you know, a hairstyle that he that he did to his hair. I, I I don't I don't I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna show you something. Um, this is where you want to see this picture. I want to see this picture on Google. I know it's in Terminator, but when I see him in all these images, you're going to notice something. All right, here is the images of it. And as I go to any of these images, and I start looking at the images of them, they always show me images of him bald. But see, we saw this image. So we want to see this. So we look through all these pictures And we'll never see no image of him from these movies. So now, I'm going to say to Google, show me this man in Terminator 2. And there is the image that matches. But notice something. But we want to see this image. We want to see the hair. Okay. Let's go for it, man. We say, show me Mark Chris Robot. Remember, uh, Resident Evil, the, the AI is a dead girl, and they call her Alice or some shit like that, right? Alice. Show me Mark Christopher Lawrence, Terminator 2. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four signed card. Four pictures of him in Terminator. That's it. Where's he at in this picture? They got this picture there. Okay, so let's see this. There's the guy doing the video who can play the movie and capture a full screenshot of this guy. We're here on Google, right? Where's the cutoff at? Right. Where's the cutoff at? They don't want to show you the hair. Is, is, is there a chance? The machine has been told to not show the top of this guy's head when he had hair, when he has hair. 
And this is the thing about haircuts being so low, you can't see people's heritage. Because again, what happens when you start to see black men with hair like this? You ever notice we're gonna take a strange turn on this. Right? Because I, I we, we don't have to. I mean I could I could play with this. I, I mean I already have. Well let's say show me his hair. Come on, show me his hair. I already have. See what happened? I gave it a specific. No images with him with hair. Show me him young. Oops, I forgot the end. All right? Show me him young when he had hair. Oh, is that him? Uh, we have to wonder, is this a character? How does it go from straight hair one day to a, what, a headband with, with braided hair? This picture over here is bigger than what they give you. Isn't that what do we say about when they make the picture small? This is a joke. See, this is for some video shit. So in this movie, he got damn near straight hair, right? But over here in some fucking video shit, I'm black, I'm black, I'm black, y'all. Black of the black, go black to Africa shit. He 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 got goddamn braids. Yeah, but his beard grows an afro. They all do. Their beard does. Uh, I mean, help me understand it. I want you to I want you to think about something real quick. How come the men got afros and the women got straight hair? Why don't none of these women ever have Afro. I, I, I was, I, from time to time, this one comes up for me. Right? It, it, it kind of, now, see, what happened here is because she wore a wig for so long, it is now uh, destroyed uh, parts of her scalp. Now, I hope she, uh, recovers. Um, but why do the men have afro? And the women don't. And then, well, some do. And then that gets me into the black men with straight hair. You know, and then that starts to make me wonder, 
you know, um, like this. Use this guy's hair naturally like that. Huh? I I I don't know which guys are gimmicks, but you know, even for straight haired men, remember we covered the information about beer hair women. So when we studied Circassians, we found that to appease people that were of color and rich, they would beer, beer hair themselves, right? And so that would give them frizzy Afroish hair. Now, there's pictures of Al Sharpton in his youth with an Afro or Afroish, uh, but I, I don't quite know if that's real or fake. Don't know who perms their hair, don't know whose hair is really intermixed. Information came down the pipeline, and this is going to start to make a lot of sense as we go further and we start to look at the, the, the real laws, right? Uh, the R Racial Integrity Act. And of course, uh, Black Congress. Joe is a master at studying. He, 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 he's, he's, he's bravo, Joe. All right. And so here again, here's a person that straightens his hair. Here's a person that hair is natural. And so that is the difference that you're looking for in these people. The way this man's hair hanging together looks like he straightens it, you know. Um, the way this guy's hair is, it's natural. Now, as we go down the line, you know, this, this I, I, I don't think, and I'm not going to worry about it. The idea is just to put it into play, put the thought out there, you know, as people who are not affiliated with Freemasonry start to realize there are a lot of black people that don't have Afros to come here. Right now, me and you, we just think it's the, the intermixing of America, but to them, it's something totally different. When we start looking at the true definition of uh, the in racial integrity, integrity act of what white is, you're gonna come you're gonna be shocked and this is the federal law when we see this okay so Virginia health bulletin so this is one of the pieces Joe got 1924 all right so, this is Walter Plecker, to preserve racial integrity, passed the House March 8th, 1924, and is now a law of the state. This bill aims at correcting a condition which only the more people of Virginia know the existence of. No. It is estimated that there are in the state more, uh, in the state from 10,000 to 20,000, possibly more, mere white people who are known to possess an intermixture of color, of the colored, colored blood. In some cases, to the slight extent that is true, but still enough to prevent them from being white. In the, in the past, it, it has been possible for these people to declare themselves as white, 
or even to have the court declare them. Then they have demanded the admittance of their children into white schools and in not a few cases have intermarried white people. Did you hear that right there? I thought he already said this was about white people that intermarried being accepted in the white schools. So all of a sudden, the last line kind of, and in not a few cases have intermarried with white people. Okay, let me. So, so, remember, they used to show you movies about in five generations, you can wipe out the black race. That's, that's what they showed you in a movie. Yet, the law is saying something different. Their problem is black people who have been intermixed and then intermarrying with white people. Now, li listen, this is where it gets a little strange. In many countries, they exist as distinct colonies. This is what we just looked at. Austronesian, Melanesian, and the different groups in between. And this is what we're going to be looking at with the Negrito. Distinct colonies. In many countries, they exist as distinct colonies, holding themselves aloof from Negroes. but not being admitted by white people as of their race. So they're in-betweeners, right? Now, in any large gathering or school of colored people, especially in the cities, many will be observed who are scarcely distinguishable as colored. So I want to make sure everybody understands what he's saying. They're not jumping to any conclusions. I want to make sure every scarcely distinguishable as colored. What does this say? What does this say? Scarcely? What does that mean? Hmm? Only. Just. Almost. Not. Look, using it in a sentence. Her voice is so low. I can scarcely hear what she is saying. What does that mean? I can barely hear. You can barely distinguish. What does distinguish mean? Clear enough to recognize. What does distinguish mean? What does it mean? Recognize. What does that mean in a sentence? You can huh? barely tell the difference. What the? You can barely tell the difference between them and what? Uh, what? Color. These persons, however, are not white in reality, nor by the new definition that a white person is one with no trace of another. Uh, of the blood of another race, except that a person is one sixteenth of the American Indian. Now you see what they did? Now who would be, just tell you who the landowners is. Fleckard's Racial Integrity Act isn't about us. It's about the owners. They look black. You can't distinguish them. They might go by the term colored. And 
and what? Nor they are not white in reality. Why would it say that? Why are they running around calling themselves white? Remember what see see this is what the Indian was talking about when he said the black white men. black skin men with straight hair that's why they keep the hair cut low and what are their families doing their families is playing a game of we are what listen here a person with no trace of the blood of another race except that a person with one sixteenth that means in what right, is two people per generation grandma and grandpa right mom and dad that means eight generations of the american indian that means within the last gener eight generations they slept with the they, they had a they family had a child with the american indian once now when you combine the law of what the, the maternal law they're going on the matrial law matrial lineage law they're going by now those people were adopted and they have head rights to the land. That's if, you know, what we learned from Killers of the Flower Moon. Now remember, Killers of the Flower Moon is a very unique situation, movie, book, about, about a unique situation no, at the same time, this is happening everywhere. Who controls the stone market today? Who controls the logging market today? So, when you start to think about these things, who's on camera? Again, we're calling them $5 Indians, but we have no idea about their history or relationship with one Indian or many Indians. Again, a lot of us have one Indian in our family, but what does that mean? They seem to know what to do, who to call, when they have one Indian in their family. And then their tribalist acceptance I, I'm not in the government. I don't know how the paperwork works. I would have to assume that family has been adopted in and they have a record of that. Or a marriage certificate. I don't know. But this is very interesting considering what we're looking at when we see a lot of these things. Again, what what does this mean when they sit there and say these persons, however, are not white in reality, nor by the new definition of this law? So there's a new definition of the law. It's very clear right here that a white person is one with no trace of the blood of another race. It doesn't mean what they've been saying. Again, all around the world, they practice these caste systems. We're in a, in a system that they don't want to inform you you're actually enslaved. You know the old rule, the best way to keep a slave is by not letting them know he's enslaved. But then what happens? He, he wants freedom. So... 
their children are likely to revert to the distinctly Negro type even when all apparent evidence of mixture has disappeared. <laughs> uh, this is what's going on, man. All right. It's not me. I'm not blind. I am seeing this. How is this a black show? Again, we're under this impression black and Negro are the same. It's not. And our ignorance. I don't just sit, I just sit around and be entertained by this shit. So, you know, that, that, that gets us over to Negrito. So we want to see, like, what's going on with all this because when we start to understand, the term Negrito means little black people. I uh, don't know why. I just learned it. All right, so uh, they inhabit parts of Southeast Asia and the and Dama. Andama Island. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just taking my best shot. Uh, populations often described as Negrito are these nations and the Adam and Eve people. Now, uh, this picture is members of an unspecified Adam and Eve tribe. And uh, when you look here, uh, I presume everybody's got these uh, afros so I'm gonna leave that at that it states they are various indigenous peoples so if you take <laughs> if you take this image right here And you look sideways, you, know, in the mirror, you know, can't look sideways in the mirror. Take a picture of yourself sideways, you know, forward, and profile, all that shit. If you look like these people, they indigenous. To Asia. The and, 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 and do I do and or? And Amanis, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an archipelago, a group of islands. So, in the, they are in the Sea of Bengal. Peoples are among the various groups of the Negrito, owing their dark skin and owing to their dark skin and diminutive stature. I guess that means short. Uh, these traditional hunter-gatherers. Again, we're going to get into a hunter-gatherer stuff about Nimrod the hunter. Uh, uh, they appear to have lived in substantial isolation for thousands of years. So, right? Because they're, they're millions of years old too, right? <laughs> The Adamese, Adamanese, um, whatever people, include the great Adamanese, right? And that's what the great Adamanese look like, right? You see that people here look like that. Where do you come from? The Jarawas, right? There's another name. It's a mangled and put in Star Wars. 
right? So, again, these are different type of indigenous Negrito, <laughs> right? Because again, you're, you're not relate. You and me, we're not that close related to them as the other people with easy at the end of their their cultural names, right? So, uh, they have largely shunned interaction with outsiders, right? So, you know, what can you really find? Uh, the origin, right? Uh, they do, they believe to be descendants from the Jan. Jen Gill tribe. So, and then, you know, there's much more, right? The Jan Gill come up right there. And, uh, excuse me, indigenous to the islands of India. So, again, how would anybody with Afros? be indigenous to islands if India is full of Indians of Hindu stock. Right? Unless what I'm saying is true. Afro people, why would they give those beautiful islands up? You see what they did to Indonesia and stuff like that. You know, they live there. You know? These groups could have assisted uh, Nimrod in his him and his people seizing the islands from Japan. You know, um, some of these groups they show you what they look like. Some of these groups you have to look up, and the Ongo of the little Adaman, so that's another island, and this is another pocketed tribe, uh, presumably all from the same origin. All right, blue people. So, there's more to look at than to, uh, to go and, and read today. I don't really have any images of anybody here. They try to give you an estimation of uh, where the admixture came in, but under their terms, which I'm sure they give some kind of book of who's who under these terms versus the Bible. I just think it's uh, oh, I don't I don't think it's oh, ooh, nice nice. Nice. I'm not getting suckered that way. I'm not going out like that. I want to see it, man. Show me their images. They probably know their obscure tribe that don't want to be seen. Don't know. And there's the answer to that. Okay, so this is the, that's the Jawa, right? That's the name, Jawa, they use in Star Wars, and huh? they just drop the, the R. Jarawa, Jarawa, something like that. All right, and again, yeah, all the boys have Afros, so I'm sure all the girls do too. They, they live in a tri tribal state, so they're not going to be sitting there worrying about trying to, uh, do the stuff the yeah, American women do to their hair. So, and then the Sentinelies cent, of the North Sentinel Island. Ooh, man, come on, slow down. Is there even one of these uh, with the people? 
no images. They just keep showing these islands like this over and over again. That's when you know they're not going to show you any images of the people. So you just take this and you go back to the other one. All these Freemasons trying to teach you about Africa and Africans and stuff, man. Okay, so this is the island where they shot the dude, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I said. All right, here you see other people can go and talk to them and hang out with them. But this big story about they uncontacted and shit, get the get out of here, right? Here he is, right here. All right. The uncontacted tribe. We're just taking pictures real, real Right, I don't know how zoomed in they are with the picture, but there they are right there in the shadows playing with people. So, uncontacted my ass. See how, see how they play with people? Oh, shit. Get out of here. What, what, what did he do? See, he did something wrong. All these people over here playing with them. Having a good time. <clears throat> what are they, are they doing? Some trade or something? Like a coconut trade or some kind of shit? Here, here go a dude standing next to him. Got one of these shits cut, cut open talking about the world's most ruthless tribe. She all like, got, got naked, like, you want to drink some of this? He all like, you know, like, dude, hold on after this picture. <laughs> right? He want to take the, the picture and make it seem like it's dangerous. And afterwards, they're going to have some damn barbecue and shit. I brought hot dogs. They will smell some hot dogs and be like, oh, shit, they got good food. Look, they over here eating their food. They ain't bringing nothing to them. Right? Come on, man. He's just always saying shit. They did something that pissed them off. And they attacking certain people. They're not They're not telling you the truth. I, I, I don't think it's, we're being told. It's best I say it like that. Because you got all these people. All these people taking pictures with this exact tribe. You got all these people trying to sell pictures. The tribe that killed this dude, right? And but but you're taking pictures with them. They're not even one of right. All that ooh, if take a picture that capture the soul. We, we we don't want no pictures taken that 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 capture the soul. They're not even tribes like that. The South American shit. They I did. They found this tribe in South America. They they lying now. See, it's good to watch the news, man. Not not the, the TV news, the news reports. And then you know when they, when they fake in the phone. Right? Are they gonna try to tell you some shit like she died or shit? Oh shit. That's a picture of, if that's her, that's the young picture of her, that's her older. That's, that, that, that ain't no, oh, she ain't never came back shit. <laughs> it's like this. Oh shit! When they do this shit, I, I just found out they smoke the bodies. They, 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 all the meat still on the damn body. They just smoke the body, and then they can reposition the body. They left this one not repositioned. He's walking around with him like he's. That's weird. I, I'm not saying shit to defend it. That shit's weird, you know. All right? Most dangerous tribes in the world gonna sit down with you and let you take pictures of them and shit. Come on, man! It's fucking mythical world. No, excuse me, not mystical, Hollywood shit. So, let's go back to Negrito. We opened up some of these. Okay? We saw these ones, that these peoples that were related to the Adam and Eve. Uh, you, you know, I'm going to mess that up. I could be saying it right, and I'd still think, I'd, I'd still think I'd be saying it wrong. All right? So, then the attack people, right? You notice your piece, his boy laying around and shit, carpet farming, ain't no damn carpet. Laying around just like your ass is. See? Indigenous to Oing. Right? Semang. 
it's, it's a Shem group, a Semang group. See, they, they're able to keep their identity. See, it don't even matter if you mixed. You can't keep your identity because you got mixed during confusion of faces. And they ancestors mixed when they knew the law and they knew what groups not to. Presumably. I, see, I told myself I wasn't going to do that. You know, I, I'm not talking bad about these people. I'm just saying, you know, you have to ask, why aren't they in the same condition? See, negrito is a diminutive, a word obtained by modifying the root. What did we see with the, the negrito under negro? That they are they are biologically modified. They have intermixed with somebody along the way that we haven't. Now it says. Uh, convey a slighter degree of its root meaning, right? And that's kind of like a, a slant, right? Because they're short compared to us, right? So, you know, when you look at the Asian peoples, uh, some groups are short, right? Some groups are as tall as us. So, again, if they intermingled with shorter people, then again, that's what you, is, is what's going to come out, right? Uh, the usage was coins in the 16th century, missionaries operating in the Philippines. And again, you know, uh, compare the height of the Filipino people. And then, you know, this kind of solves some of the, the Crayola uh, equation, right? And was borrowed by other European travelers and colonists across Austronesia to various peoples perceived as sharing relative small physical stature and dark skin. Excuse me, contemporary usage of the alternate Spanish epithet uh, Negrillos was tend tended to bundle these people with the pygmy peoples of Central Africa. So again, they're running the same scam on them that in the 1600s that they're running on us now. They're bundling us with Africans, and again, they're bundling these people with Africans uh, under the name Negrillo. So, and these are based on the similarities in stature and complexion. Now, that's exactly why you find Negrito under Negro. Because, again, we're all going to have a root origin. That, e that includes the African pygmy. Now, why did they combine them as Negrillos? Because again, here's the pygmy, and here's the Negrito, and then here you have a five foot being, a five five foot foot being, and then you have a six foot being, men, right? Um, so, you know, or or even lower, you have a four foot. You know, how tall do pygmies get, right? Oh, good. Let's do this in centimeters because that's what we have like laying around, right? So, again, like a staircase, the height of a pygmy versus the height of a negrito versus the height of a, uh, say, uh, African male or a American male of black skin, whether they have straight hair or afro hair, it don't matter. Now it says that it's based on their complexion and similarities. Historically, the label Negrito has also been used to refer to African pygmies. Uh, we just read that. Uh, the appropriateness of bundling people of different ethnicities by similarities in structure and complexion has been challenged, right? That's the bundling of all right Asian people together, the bundling of all white people together. That's the bundling of the criminal with the with the good with the with the law abiding citizen. Yeah, you know, I get you. No, I understand. You can see it in different levels. Most groups de designated as Negrito lived as hunter gatherers, while some used agriculture such as plants harvesting due to their origins. Based on perceived 
physical similarities. Okay, so then they've done studies also of the peopling of South Asia and the genetic history of East Asians. I, don't think, <clears throat> I think we're going to follow any one of those. <clears throat> Perceived on uh, physical similarities, uh, I think I said genetic before. The Greedos were once considered a single population of closely related people. Well, that's what the Bible talks about, right? Families growing and spreading out. So what if, like, what do you think? It's all people, like, uh, of the Asian groups, like, uh, does each Asian tribe uh, just have short people that, that come out of that? Or is it one tribe of short people? Uh, like that that's the question that that kind of comes to mind right like uh like uh i want to say mid mids or dwarves but they're two different uh categories and you know the question is are they are they tribes or are they well yeah you know i guess tribes are families and this is the gen genetics is going to be you know family based so i guess yeah it becomes a dumb question. Like, <laughs> oh, shit. yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, you know, look. In mathematics, you do Scrappy's paper sometimes for reverse math. Nothing says the Scrappy's paper is going to look good. Sometimes when you're kind of calculating this stuff on the fly. See, here's the thing. First off, when I'm looking at it, you know, the first rule that comes to mind, you're studying alone, there's nobody there to talk to you or discuss it with, you're always right, you're never wrong. So the second rule of thumb comes into play is the trickle down effect, right? First you thought this, A, but then more information comes forth or variables are released that come forth and then your your opinion starts to alter and things like this so right now this is more like i'm going to formulate an opinion while i'm studying this and again like anything else is subject to change and it could change drastically and then once it changes i've gone away from this angle and gone to this new angle sometimes that shit converges, right? Well, on the other hand, audible, sometimes when you think they might converge, you find out later they don't. What do you mean an example of they don't? Well, let's look at Jesus. If you understand what is written in Revelation, the first chapter, I'm dead, I'm back to life, people of hell have got up from the, the, the grave, sat on the thrones to greet me. I have keys of ownership to death and to hell. If you really understand that, is he the devil? No, I can't. Then you get the Lucifer and the devil, right? Do they converge? Are they the same one? Are they the same being? No. But many people teach that they are. Because in their mind, it converged. But it's not supposed to. Now, the Bible says Jesus is Lucifer. The ones that the kings get up to see is Lucifer. Now, is Lucifer the devil? No. Can you prove it? Yeah. It's simple. It's the angel of the bottomless pit. That's the king of hell. That's the devil. Now, does this information converge? Yes. We're talking about bloodlines. One's the father, the other is the son. What does he say? My father. He's talking about Apollo, sun god. Where's the sun travel? In the heavens. It's done deal. 
Done deal. Now they converge. Isaiah says, don't forget his mom. The one that they call Venus that has nothing to do with the planet. It's actually the, the, the female version of the, of the moon. The mom and the twin. Their story don't make sense about that. Everybody know it. So, however, the genetic study suggests that they may, that they consist of several separate groups descended from the same ancient East Eurasian meta population that gave rise to modern Asian people and Ocean Ocean peoples, as well as displaying genetic heterogeneity. Genesis, I don't, they should really have that in blue so people can just highlight that and understand what that word is. Heterogeneity. So, um, that mixed genes between the two, that's my guess. Getting the stupid man guess correctly. It's like a trivia now, yeah. Make it a more suspenseful, goddammit. Come on. Uh, quality of state of being diverse. Uh -uh, you fucked up, man. Well, I was actually opposite of what that was. More diverse from each other. Uh, all right. See, this is why we gotta look shit up. You can't just take like dumbass guesses like uh, like I do. And when I realized I was taking so many dumbass guesses, I was like, I gotta look shit up. All right, that is now where we were. All right, I think uh, I temporarily forgot. The Negritos formed the indigenous population of Southeast Asia, but were merely absorbed by the Austroasiatic and the Austronesian speaking groups that migrated uh, from Southeast Asia to mainland. Now, how could they come from Southeast Asia unless that book of Jashir is right? They went to the a place that Japheth had control. Of. Unless that Bible's right too. Japheth was on the islands, and then people of Ham, led by Nimrod, went over there and kicked them off. And then once they took their shit and started spreading out, they came back to where? To Southeast Asia. Hmm? Now they are absorbed into what? The politics of people that now control the land. Now again, the Negritos are populated all over the Austroasiatic and Austronesian speaking groups. So that's all over South East Asia. Okay. So that means they're all over these islands, these types of Negroes that we're looking about right now. And they're all over the mainland. Now it says the, they were absorbed during the migration into the mainland from insular Southeast Asia with the Neolithic expansion. The remainders form minority groups in geographically isolated regions. Now, again, these people, oh, I shouldn't say again. We can see that they're from Shem. We have no idea who they are. 
they can be anybody as far as we know. But we can kind of guesstimate based on the Tower of Babel. Oh, excuse me. Before the Tower of Babel, the, the great war between Ham and Japheth. But that's about time for some of this intermixture. How can we say that? Well, based on the Degrito, uh, their genetics matching with the people that have the Asiatic looks matching with Austronesians and Austro and Austron. That's the difference. It's relatively the same name, Astro and Astron. So, now it says it has been found that the physical and morphological phenotypes of the Negrito, such as a short stature, a wide and snub nose, curly hair, dark skin, are shaped by the novel by novel me mechanisms for adaptation to tropical rainforests. <laughs> so, okay, so, it, I guess if you ignore the short stature, that's pretty much most of the dark-skinned people in America. Okay, you know, I got, even, even, even the people that are, that are mixed by 1 16th Indian, no, oh, wink, wink, wink. <laughs> oh, shit, man. They seem to have wide and stubby noses and curly hair and dark skin. And again, besides the short stature, that's a description of most of us. But again, they're gonna write it off like, no, 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 you guys are like from the same batch, man. Like, okay. But they'll write to all the Asians is from the same batch. They call them Asian. They'll say all, 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 all the people that you would classify as white or Caucasian, Caucasian, they can think of two different names. <laughs> Right? And you know they're all, right? I mean, right? The Arabs know they're Caucasian. They come to America, they're called Caucasian. They're like, well, uh, we don't want to be called that. Everybody knows where they're from, except for us. Right? That's a Bible scripture. Everybody knows who their master is, except for the Israelite. Hmm? How are we living here? Do I scroll back up to the top and read how the Negrito has been absorbed into and we have been absorbed into? You need to think about why. Not that you're better than this, not that I ain't no slave. You need to start thinking, why God did this. Vengeance is the most high, it's not yours. Vengeance is a dark road, you're not Batman. Batman isn't vengeance. Vengeance equal, e equals the, 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 the ground, man. How do you teach this? Hmm? This is how you teach it. You got your choice. You want to be judged now? Or you want to be judged on Judgment Day? I have chosen you. I have selected you. So I, as a people, I'm going to judge you for your ancestors' actions. What does it say? You got to accept the punishment. You gotta know what you're being punished for. See, this is the whole game. 
You take these things out of the Bible so you don't know what you're being punished for. You wanted a king. Vincent will never, never, Vincent will never let me forget this. Israel wanted a king over them. We have the most high creator. Nothing's too hard for him. But we wanted to be like the other nations. Now he threw us into the other nations. You got what you wanted. We got what our ancestors wanted. And we got what their ancestors wanted. Their ancestors wanted our positions. Now they have them. See, they never tell you what the Israelites did. Just made it sound like they just lived in a clubhouse until it was time to take the clubhouse down. They just lived in a kingdom until the time to take the kingdom down. And what do they do? They got a temple to the most high creator God, but everybody in the world comes to this place. Wants to what? Serve the most high. It makes his journey to serve the most high. Man of another race has got to stay. Fucking first year, you can't touch nothing, you can't eat nothing, right? You gotta stay there a whole year without participating. Certain peoples of the world couldn't even participate. Now, in this system, do you see why we are marginalized? We're not supposed to be participating on those levels because we didn't let them participate on the levels we were supposed to. We want to do other stuff. We want to do cruel stuff. All in the land, holy and killing a man over petty shit in the streets. All greed and killing people for the wealth. Somebody comes to Jerusalem to worship the Most High and you murder him in the streets? For his savings. See, this is the problem with them altering the book and not telling us what we did wrong. For lack of knowledge, they can do anything they want. They could have said sodomy is playing with your belly button and, they, and, and, and everybody would be doing porno. But for some reason, there's rules. You must fall a certain way. In this society, you die from stupidity, greed, or the vacuum. The vacuum is when other people's moments suck you in, and then you're gone. People call that collateral damage. But the Most High tells you, everybody that lives, it is his choice. Everybody that leaves this place, it is his choice. When the King of Israel was dying, he didn't say, he, pray, he didn't bow down and pray, Most High, can I come live with you? Most High, what did he say? This is another one from Vincent. What did he say? Can I live longer? Now, look at us. To raise a village, everybody, to raise a child in a village, every member of the village has to talk, and this is the most silent village. This nation. You can't even discipline your child in the public for doing something 
cruel for, for doing something they want to charge him as an adult for. Now, these societies mimic the rules of Sodom and Gomorrah. You can't have homeless. There's laws against it now. We're following down a dark path, but it seems to be that there's nothing new under the sun. They already knew, knew they were going to do that. We're in somebody else's pot. I'm about to get boiled like meat. No matter what type of meat you think of, this is what it is. The Negrito like population was most likely also present in Taiwan before the Neolithic expansion. And so you have to ask, what is the Neolithic expansion? Is that them coming over, the Hamites coming over to the area? And must have persisted, uh, persisted into historical times, as suggested by evidence from morphological features of human skulls, remains uh, human skeletal remains dating from around 68 million years ago, re uh, resembling Negritos, especially the Etas in northern Luzon, and further collaborated by Chinese reports uh, from the Qing Dynasty and from tales of Taiwanese indigenous peoples about people with dark skin, short and small body stature, frizzy hair that an occupation in forested mountains or remote caves. So, um, that's how they survived all this time by, what do you say, the guerrilla, the guerrilla warfare, right? The, the guerrilla hiding. All right, and again, these are all related. types of, um, I would say, black people, but uh, I'm just going to have to say uh, branches of Negro. Um, so this is the uh, indigenous Australian, this won't come up. All right, they won't show that, so let's just copy it. And, you know, Take it over and see what the indigenous Australian looks like. Yeah, we want all that extra. Yeah, that's just good. Enough. All right. Oh, you want to click that? Oh, but didn't click there. Clicky there. There we go. All right. This is uh, separate with the top of it was the Bambara people. Uh, all right, not to be confused with the Bambara people. Why not? I, I we're just, I, I don't know. Uh, so maybe they're both in two different spots. Here it says Mabem. I don't know what the, I guess this is supposed to be Pangea. Uh, I, 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 what the, f come on, dude. Here, live today, you're going to start playing this stupid shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what is this map, man? Who does this? What is, what the, I, I, I. I you see this is for me it's 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 my ignorance I I don't know what this map is I, I'm I, I gotta see it. we got the page see how ignorant I am I got the page open right over here somewhere and I'm clicking on this now I, it's, oh god man. come on show me the map traditional lands of the 
Australian Aboriginal tribe. So is this supposed to be Australia? Where's how is this a map of Australia? The hell draws a half bitten cookie and and sit there and say this is Australia. I better I've I've never seen a coastline so rounded. Like I just I don't I don't understand. Do they have a circular town? I I, I want to understand this map. It just looks like a, a fucking pie chart. I don't even know. Oh man, whatever. Okay, so um, it'd be pretty good to stop here. Uh, these are branches of uh, our families that we uh, don't really. See how, like, Australia look. That's Australia. What, what was that map? All right? Is there some circle area that they... Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I got to study that. I'm embarrassed. I'm confused. I'm so confused I opened the same page twice as the other one. Which is... There's a map again. Ah! Oh. Why does that look all rectangleish? It looks like half a pyramid right there. A pyramid cut in half. Um, I'm trying to figure out this map, which I should probably pause and do, but you know, there's words on the screen people won't read. History of contact, 1880. Oh shit, excuse me. So we want to go back to Negrito. I forgot all about this. I want to show you this. So. So, if you've been watching the Avatar, they named the child Aang. So, you know, they say Aang is a child that's been given this power and a continuous line of great masters, right? So, here's Aang Duong, King of Cambodia, 1860. All right, now, look at that face. You can... <laughs> all right and again remember when you see these egyptian statues today all right you can't tell what kind of hair they had underneath you know and you you get it showed you there's when you, when you look at al sharpton you know, the, the guys like that you know, are they doing their hair are they getting their hair done or is that their natural stuff you know um Look at how many times Al Sharpton has said, I'll be there for the Negro, and then money has been, you know, the reason he can't be there now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, this is interesting that this dark skinned fellow, with, with, it looks like he's got straight hair, um, still king of Cambodia. Right, coronation. His predecessor, processor dad, right, Ang Met, right. So he come from a family that named themselves Ang. You know, so here is Ang's family, the monarch of Cambodia. That's the mother. Okay. So I thought he had more of a shim look to him when I saw that with the big lips and everything. But it is what they give you. And again, he was the son of King Ang Gang. They don't show, they show you King Ang Ing. Ang Ing. Uh, no, they're just, they're going to give you some, what the, how is he the king in 1779, where his son don't reign for 
to 50 years, oh shit, longer than that, man. 97, so, you know, 50 years later, shit. Um, 97, 48, yeah, 51 years later. You know, must have some old people's in the between zeros, right? Is right? And Dugong was his father's successor of 1834. Well, who was reigning in between? I guess the mom. I don't know, but see, this is this is very interesting. So, like, uh, like Mrs. Miss Anthony said. Kemmer could be Kemet. And now uh, I want to show you something. There's Old Egypt, there's Middle Egypt. Well, there's Old Kemmer. We're going to start with Old. There's middle Kemmer. Whenever I find it again, there it is. And then there's modern Kemmer, which is, we'll get to it. That's the Kemmer language. And then there's the Kemmer people. And then from middle Kemmer, <laughs> you get to modern, uh, which is the Kemmer Empire. And if you look, right, this inscription, they say the era is the 18th century, right? So that's the 1700s, right? Now you're telling me in the 1700s they could make big ass stones like this and write endless sentences, and right, nobody else on earth could do that shit, you know? I mean, and the funny thing is, when you look at this and you start thinking about how, like, man symbols are and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure these people could probably read what the what the Mayans wrote. I'm pretty sure the idea is to keep the one language away from the other language. You know, um and we'll go into this. There's not much here, um, but we'll go into this on another one. I'm going to end it here. Uh, I really appreciate um, everybody who has tuned in. I want to thank the people that have been donors lately. Without you, it's, it's, it's really impossible to go forward. You know, you, you got to worry about feeding everybody. Uh, I hope that people have learned a little bit more about themselves, especially because we've been under this brain program to think that we're from another continent that we we might not have any relation with at all and most high bless your soul shall I